Hi everyone, it's Patty Behan, and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you a technique called layering with perfect pearls. So let's get started. All right, to begin, we have two pieces of Tim Holtz Distress heavyweight cardstock in matte black, three colors of perfect pearls, a Mr. Bottle filled with water, the small perfect pearls brush, and then I have another container of water here. So to begin, we're gonna layer our perfect pearls. And the reason I have two pieces of cardstock is one is gonna be my first layer and impression, and the second one is just gonna be if there's excess to wipe off. So we'll get two for the price of one. Okay, so I'm gonna begin with the first color, pewter, and then I'm gonna mist a little bit of water on the cardstock, maybe like three, or four, four squirts of water, just a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna open the jar and take the brush to just put some of the pearls in into the water. And then let's start with this. I may need some more, but, and then I'm just going to move the pearls around till it's mixed with the water. And then I'm going to drag the card through the pearls. So you get this kind of look. And then I'll just get up, get the rest of this up with this card. And you can blot it or swipe it through. Okay, so that's our first layer. And I still have a little bit of residue here, but it's I'm just gonna keep going. And I'm gonna spray four times. And then next is Perfect Bronze. And in case I didn't say it, this first color was pewter. I'm gonna put some of this into the water. And then I'm going to Mix it up. And then I'm gonna swipe it through. And let me show you what that looks like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest with this one. Like so and my first layer wasn't wet but now as I'm adding more layers this is wet so what I'm gonna do is dry this with a heat tool and if your first layer ended up being wet you would dry it first too Okay, I think that's dry. I didn't want to talk while I was over the heat tool while I was drying it. Okay, so now we're gonna do our next layer and this is Perfect Gold. And I'm gonna spray my water first. The reason I'm spraying the water first is because if you put the powder and then spray the water, you're going to make you're just gonna make the dust fly. So that's why we're doing that. I'm cleaning my brush here because for the next color. And it's okay to put a, a, a damp brush into your pearls as long as it, you don't put a heap of water on the brush. You don't have to worry about ruining the pearls in the jar. So I'm mixing this up again. And then 
gonna tap it. And then, like so, I think that looks good. And then I'll take my other piece to get the excess. And you can swipe it through, you could tap it, do whatever you like. Now I'm going to dry both of them again. And now that both of them are dry, we're going to pick the one we wanna use for our background and make a card. And you can use the background by itself or you could die cut it. And in this particular case, I'm just gonna use the background. And I think I like this one. And let's clean up our spot here and put our card together. clean before I put my white card down here. Cleans up nicely with water on the craft sheet. And I don't know, for some reason, the, these colors make me feel like it would make a good anniversary card. You can make a bunch of backgrounds first and then decide what you're gonna use them for later. So I am going to make it a landscape card and let's see which way I want to use it. Well, I think like this. And I, um, I'm using an A2 size card and I trimmed this down to f the black to four inches by five and a quarter in case you're wondering. And now I have a sentiment, happy anniversary that I already embossed with white embossing powder. And I have some foam tape on the back here. And then I'm gonna, I guess I'll put it down in the corner. And I just love how that stands out since it's popped up. And I'll bring it up closer. So now you have this beautiful shimmering background and I'll show you some more examples. This is one where we die cut the hearts, if you can see. We use different colors. This one, this looks like, I don't know, it makes me feel like it has a Western vibe to it. Um, this is just like copper and gold in this one and it has perfect pearls around the edges. And this has a beautiful painterly look. Here's another one that is, has the same kind of background. And then one more where we die cut our butterflies. And this is Perfect Pearls in the background too with a, a background stamp. So I hope this gives you some ideas and you'll give this technique a try. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and keep watching this series to learn more about Perfect Pearls. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.